great uh, fine uh, new experience uh, with the covid and uh, i always enjoy and i always accept the challenges whatever the uh, going on and it's really great so have you ever faced this kind of interview before yeah i uh, do this type of interview uh, i think three or four is back so and uh, recently i don't have okay so jishan so let me start the interview session so uh, right now you are looking after acp basis right yes so could you please tell me what is acp basis uh acp basis uh, basically it's a uh, sap administration uh, at the os level and the things that uh, sap is basis administrator look after uh, regarding the administration user administration authorization and overall uh, purpose to of sap basis to maintain the uh, services up for the sap this is basically core responsibility of sap basis administration Okay, so my next question is: Tell me, what is the difference between developer trace system log and system trace? A developer trace is a trace. Basically, these are the traces. Uh, whenever the uh, uh, when a transaction, uh, when the user trans, uh, 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 execute the transaction, so th there are some. Uh, traces generated uh, if there are some uh, things uh, behind and something whatever the uh, uh, process have been initiated and these the, uh, the things are in the background uh, generated the each and everything uh, logs in uh, recorded in that traces form and the the system logs is a basically these are the logs which are uh, relevant to the system what how system is behaving and how system uh, running and uh, whatever the uh, uh, system services doing uh, regarding uh, each and every uh, uh, transaction and each and every uh, execution behind each and every execution okay great so can you explain uh, how you can restrict multiple logins of user in sap and what are the things yes, you have uh, to take care of while uh, writing the jd sorry uh, is my question clear to you yes it is clear uh, basically uh, these are the profile parameters uh, we have to maintain these uh, profile uh, parameters uh, using rz10 transaction code and there is uh, different types of uh, parameters uh, we can uh, uh, log in multi uh, multi user or something like that uh, uh, there there are numerous uh, parameters so uh, sorry i couldn't uh, properly mention the parameter here but these are the parameters are there uh, so we have to maintain these in uh, using rz10 so we can restrict the multi logins okay so uh, at waste level how you can change the number of work process and uh, how you can analyze the status of work process at waste level there uh, are <clears throat> at the os level uh, we uh, basic uh, these uh, these are the uh, command uh, using although i didn't uh, perform it uh, by myself but i have little bit knowledge it it is the uh, kernel uh, executable files and we maintain the work pro processor with them so i couldn't get you uh, couldn't uh, tell you the exact command of the sap kernel parameter the sap kernel executable files can you tell me what are the tools uh, that are used to install java patches uh jspm and uh, if we are uh, patching the whole system so we can do it with the sam as well but jspm uh, uh, most probably used when we are uh, implementing the java patches can you explain what is heterogeneous system copy and uh, homogeneous system copy 
homogeneous uh, basically the same entire system is the same and you are uh, just a replica of this system uh, os is the same and the landscape uh, not landscape os is the same and the other rest of the configuration is the same it is the homogeneous the heterogeneous is the different uh, os level is changed uh, uh, db backend level and uh, db might be changed this is these are the things are the uh, uh, considered in heterogeneous system so, uh, can you tell me what, uh, what is the importance of uh, importance of table T triple O? Sorry. Can you explain what is the importance of table T triple O? Okay, uh, T triple zero. Uh, it is uh, basically records the all information of the clients in the system. In what ways you would know whether a system is Unicode or non-Unicode? Uh, we can check it uh, using the DISP plus WRK, it is the OS level command. And we can check it uh, with the uh, system status as well. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you assign an object to 100 roles at time? It is in the PFCG and uh, in the and uh, assign there is uh, in the uh, template uh, we can put this object in the uh, this uh, there and select it in the, uh, the multiple rows so we can assign this object using uh, PFCG transaction code. So are you a team worker or an individual worker? Yes, I uh, uh, firm believe on the teamwork uh, and uh, collaboration and teamwork makes the things more easier instead of the individual uh, solo uh, flight. Uh, so it, I uh, believe on the team teamwork and collaboration. So, what is your strategy uh, to lead a team? So, I think now you are leading. Uh, small or small team, right? Yes, uh, I, uh, currently I have a, a very small team, uh, uh, consists of three or four people. But before that, uh, uh, I have a chance to maintain the people uh, like uh, 10 to 12 uh, in past. So uh, the main strategy is uh, not to become a manager. It uh, it should be become a lead, leader to lead everyone. Once they do wrong, uh, accept their uh, mistake, and once they do uh, right, appreciate them. This is the uh, simple uh, rule. And I hope if uh, your team is uh, happy, you are happy. If you are happy, then your team should also be happy. Okay, that's great. So, as a team leader, do you do any kind of team building activities? Team building activities. Uh, uh, in past, uh, uh, the, there is a numerous thing uh, that I have done uh, at my own a little bit, but uh, at the organization level or uh, supported by our organization, uh, uh, there is nothing major. But uh, at my own, I do little some fun stuff to make a team for the outside for a dinner or lunch, something like that and uh, uh, <coughs> appreciate them and uh, motivate them with that different practice. So these are the basically. Okay, so what, uh, do you, what do your co-workers say about you? Yeah, <laughs> it, it is basically uh, uh, we say self-praising is, uh, I don't believe on self-praising, but uh, if you want to know about me so i can share the uh, my team uh, members and my uh, <coughs> subordinates uh, contact with you so you can ask them directly <laughs> okay but okay i can do that but what is your uh, what do you feel that what is their opinion about you well honestly say that they are all happy because uh, i'm really uh, 
flexible with them so in every each and every minute not uh, in the working uh, perspective but in the other things so i'm very polite with them that's why they are all uh, uh, remember me although i have left uh, their two or three uh, organization but they remembered me and they are also in contact with me right now as well do you think that uh, switching job frequently is uh, good for career or it is harmful what is your uh, uh, no i don't believe in the uh, switching job uh, uh, quickly uh, in a very uh, short span of the time uh, let's say 3 months or 6 months it's not uh, good for the career but uh, it may uh, impact badly uh, whenever the recruiter see your profile that uh, you have numerous uh, different organization you have joined and left in a very short time so i i personally believe it it is a bad thing and it it won't effect uh, positively on your career and the other rest of the thing because uh, uh, there uh, everybody have different uh, <coughs> thinking and different thoughts but i personally believe that when you have organized uh, when you join an organization after 6 months and so on you come to know that how organization was what are their processes and the everything so after that uh, most of the people in the organization came to know that how you work and how your what is your personality and how is how professional you are so uh, what is your understanding a person, how how long a person should stay in a in a particular company what what should be the minimum uh, duration uh, i personally believe uh, it uh, it uh, minimum two or more than uh, uh, two and a half year should stay in an organization and uh, if there is some uh, reason that uh, you think that you have to quit early so you should talk to the management that you are facing these problems uh, uh, if uh, there is some issues that they can uh, cannot resolve then you can uh, move on further but i personally believe two and two and half year is minimum the time that you, you should stay in an organization okay thank you so much so uh let me go back to the technical question again so uh, can you tell me which are the most uh, frequent errors encountered while dealing with transports there are uh, some uh, sometimes buffers get full uh, these are uh, some types of errors so we have to reset the buffers this is the most common in uh, error and uh, sometimes uh, sometimes you have uh, released the request and it it is not shown on the other uh, system uh, if you release the request on the dev system it is unable to see on the uh, ua system if uh, if all the transport routes are correct so you have to uh, refresh it again and again if it is not so you have to check uh, either there are some uh, user uh, a uh, problem or something like that it is also uh, might be the reason transport transport routes might be the reason but it is not major but the major things are the uh, buffers and some of the sometimes you have implemented some of the patch at the and packages at the dev system but uh, you uh, forgot to uh, patch on uh, us system so there are a system inconsistency there and system change there uh, there is a different system in the uh, dev as compared to the us so these are the errors are there uh, thank you maybe this is my last question can you tell me what is load balancing in sap load balancing uh, basically there uh, if you are talking about uh, using ha or uh, or uh, you are just uh, asking about the rfc load balancing or what 
want to know the uh, definition. What is load balancing? Not very details. Load, uh, load balancing. It is the simple as uh, in the as defined in the their uh, uh, word and technical term load balancing. It uh, balance the load uh, between if there are two instances, same instances. So it uh, balancing the request for the and uh, <coughs> accepting the request uh, with a different techniques, uh, either uh, round robin or weightage, it uh, gets the request once uh, and uh, take the both system at the same load instead of one is the overloaded and one is the uh, lesser loaded. Okay, Mr. Jishan, thank you so much for uh, attending this interview session. It was a really a nice experience talking to you. So uh, I hope you also enjoyed the conversation. So, yeah, uh, I also enjoyed the conversation. And uh, so, uh, what would be the next? Uh, can so you please? Basically, uh, uh, you know, as I told you earlier, that th this video will be shared with the concerned company. They will review the okay. answers. And uh, once you are shortlisted, then they will contact you again and for the second round of interview. And that would be the final round. Okay. So, this is the process. Okay. Okay. Okay.